Hello 3D printer peeps, hello K1 and K1 Max owners. I am sitting here next to a Creality K1 and K1 Max. Today we are going to replace the entire original hot end assembly with the all new Creality Unicorn hot end assembly that comes included with the Unicorn nozzle. This process is super complicated. Please be prepared, take your time, and do everything carefully. I am going to use a Creality K1 Max to perform this job. The Creality K1 and K1 Max share the same tool head, so you may follow along and do this process on either machine as they are exactly the same. We need to remove the tool head cover. On the K1, you have immediate access to the cover screw. On the K1 Max, you will need to remove the LiDAR first to gain access to this screw. To remove the LiDAR, you will need to remove one ribbon cable. That cable is connected here and in the tool head circuit board here. Go ahead and simply pick this cable off the tool head. Do be gentle when removing this connection and always check for hot glue. If there is hot glue on the connection, just gently pick it off. In order to assist in me getting a good view of what I'm doing for the camera, I may remove this cable from the LiDAR itself. You do not need to do this. With as little pressure as possible, remove that screw. And screw number two is hiding right here. Do support the LiDAR. When the screw comes off, the LiDAR will fall. This is what your LiDAR looks like. With the LiDAR removed, you now have access to both cover screws. It's almost impossible to see, but there is a screw under this plate. It is right here. Go ahead and remove it. There is another screw right there. Go ahead and remove that. With both screws off and the LiDAR cable removed, Bring the cable chain behind the hot end. This will prevent the cable chain from stopping your upward movement of the hot end. Reach underneath the hot end, pull forward, and lift up. First things first, I'm going to work this cable out of the way by gently pushing it back and feeding an Allen key between the bars. This will keep it out of your way and there's really not a whole lot of stress on anything. We are going to remove this screw, this screw, and this screw. We are going to remove all these connectors. Please be gentle when removing these screws. There is another board back there. Do take note, these two screws are different than this one, so pay attention when putting it back together. We are now going to remove these two connectors they will be hot glued on. This is a top of the line needle nose plier from the dollar store. With those two wires carefully worked off, you may fold this down and we will remove the hot end. There are two screws here and here. Mine are incredibly tight. Once you get those first couple turns going, it will be better. Next up, this screw right here. And the same screw on the other side. If you have a K1 Max, the LiDAR bracket's in the way. If you have a K1, the LiDAR bracket's not in the way. However, if the LiDAR bracket is in the way, there are two screws underneath the bracket you can remove the front one and then loosen the rear and the bracket will fall. This allows you easy access to remove that second screw. We will need to remove this red boot and two screws on each side of the hot end. Don't be shy, it's gonna be super tight. Go ahead and work it off. Two screws, two screws right here. 
one, two, and the whole fitting comes right off. Take your tool, reach it up into this hole, put a little angular pressure, pull down and remove this blue tube. Gently disconnect your thermostat and heater from the hot end and the board right here. Mine was glued to death. I worked it off gently off camera to avoid destroying it and I practically did anyway, so be very careful. We will now install the new hot end. It is worth noting you will no longer use the blue Capricorn Bowden tube. That will be replaced with this all metal. With the thermostat facing forward, the flat side of the black heat sink, you may bend that thermistor down a little. You may move the heater wire out of the way. Guide the tube into the little hole and slide the hot end up until the screws line up. It should be nicely fit. Next up, the two screws on the side. There's one. Number two, right here over that LiDAR on the K1 Max. If you loosened up your LiDAR bracket, now is a good time to put it back. Go ahead and carefully connect your thermostat and your heater. To the tool head circuit board. I clipped mine on off camera just to make sure I didn't break it. If the fan fell off the board, put it back like this. The wire is between the fan and the clip and enters the fan over here by the thermistor and heater. Gently mark it up into position. It will be helpful to take one of the screws and guide it through the board into the fan. To help keep that fan in position. Keep in mind it is two silver and one black and the black is a different size screw head. Make sure all three screws go through your fan. When attaching this board, please make sure you do not crush the thermistor wire between the board and the hot end. If they're in the way, gently bend them in a route that avoids being crushed between the fan and the hot end. Remember these ridiculous connections, gently reattach them. They are an absolute nightmare. Please take your time. If you must, you may remove these two screws. Clip this zip tie off and you will gain more flexibility and access to those wires. With all this crazy stuff done, it's time to put your LiDAR and tool head cover back on. Go ahead and replace the tool head cover. Be sure to reconnect your fan first. 
your fan goes right there. Go ahead. Slide the cover over the top and push it down. You will see this little hole over that little peg on both sides. I'm going to make a crazy suggestion and that is to leave the LiDAR side of the hot end cover unscrewed. This way, if you ever need to remove the tool head cover, you can do so without fighting the LiDAR. If you are using a K1 without LiDAR, this is obviously not an issue. Congratulations, you have successfully replaced or upgraded your K1 or K1 Max hot end.